We see with our hearts and love with our eyes. In a 2020 prison, lusting over a prize. Fighter in this. What's going on, y'all? Mad Den. Back up in this Mad Den. Here to talk about Mad Den. And I got the No Money Mad Men with me, of course. On that happy Thursday. How y'all doing today? Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for supporting. And again, if you're new, please hit that like. Please hit that subscribe. I really appreciate it. Down below, I have my Twitter, my Twitch, Trading Point Spreadsheet updated daily. Check it out. Come be a madman. Come join the Mad Dad community. So, guys, house rule still going on. They had to take it down for some kind of patch yesterday. But they did extend it until Friday morning, 10.30 Eastern. So you have an extra night to try to knock out those house rules. And I highly recommend, if you have them done, to go ahead and keep going on those and try to get 60. It's so worth it for the trophies. The, the wins count towards series progression wins. So you can get a ton of trophies. If you knock this whole event out, I think you can get up to 1,000 trophies to either get you a Madden collectible or to get you the Melvin Gordon Nat. You know, or a bunch of packs, it's ever what you want to do. So I highly recommend if you haven't already to knock out those 60, it's not that hard. Like I told people yesterday, you go blitz them galore, pinch them, pinch them on, on, on defense, you know, three, four pinch, five, two pinch, they work great. Make sure you're shading over top, make sure you're, um, you know, man aligning, do all that good stuff, but it should be a quick win for you guys. You just keep rolling through there. But the game's tend to draw, I didn't play a game past the second quarter. They score? It doesn't matter, these, these losses don't count against you, so the speed of getting it done is really what's more important, I think, in my mind. So, we do have new Signature Series players dropping today. They did release one of them last night. Here he is right here. The man, the myth, the legend from the University of Georgia, Sony Michelle. Coming in strong at 5'11 with 87 speed, 89 acceleration, 90 agility, 92 carrying, 63 catching, 85 elusiveness, 85 trucking, and 82 break tackle. A lot of great halfbacks in the game right now. I just talked about one that Melvin Gordon, those Clint Porters I have, you know, Bo Jackson, Marcus Allen, Gale Sayers. The list goes on, you know, the people, the, the, the backs that people like to use right now. So, you know, um, these finisher series tend to be a little bit pricey. So I wouldn't go out there and break the bank just to get one. There are cheaper ones available for the Sony Michelle. So the Clinton Portis, the one I just talked about, is highly um, comparable to this Sony Michelle, the one I have on my team. So again, guys, the signature series, um, it's kind of an L, I think, this year because the prices are just too much. It's not, if you pull them, if you're a pack puller and you happen to pull one, more props to you. But I promise you, you wasted so many coins trying to get these. I don't know if the balance is way out yet. So, um... Again, Sonny Michelle. Yeah, there'll be another one on defense dropping tomorrow as well. Make sure you check Twitter, check back on all of my channels. They usually retweet that type of stuff. Um, other than that, guys, um, Weekend League will be starting tonight. Um, you have to qualify. You're unqualified. It's not an open Weekend League this week. So um, get your grind on. Get your rage on. Make sure you guys, like I said, I would prioritize my solo battles, my house rules before I hit Weekend League just to get as many trophies as I can and to get the rewards fast as I can. Um, also, guys, make sure you guys are doing your Team of the Week solos. They're not that difficult. You got to get two stars to get the Team of the Week selectable, six stars to get the player. That's all I usually do. I do it on two accounts. That way I can have two Team of the Year players at the end of the year to for, for training or for my team or for whatever. What. I, highly recommend, I highly recommend it. It takes me about 10 minutes to do all four of those solos right there. That's not very hard, especially if you just follow the simple recommendations. Like I tell you guys, on defense, I mean, I'm sorry, when you're on an offensive solos, it's usually like score twice. So what you do is you score, when they get the ball, just do an onside kick and then a field goal block and let them score right away. The points don't count against you. And that way you get the ball back faster and you can score your, your touchdown, your second touchdown, your third touchdown, whatever you need to do to get those done quicker. Again, it's not a, you know, there's definitely a sprint when it comes to those, not a marathon. You want to grind all those out. It's up to you, but that's what I would do if I were you. So a lot of people have been asking me about the Madden collectibles and what they think they should use those on at first. Me, personally, I went Madden passing for both of my first two. My third one, I'm probably going to go Madden pass defense, because to me, it's still a passing game. You know, people are, they, uh, they definitely um, spam the run a lot, but it hasn't really affected me to the point where I think my run defense is going to be even Madden rushing defense first. So my usually, what I do is go Madden passing, Madden passing defense, 
and then I'll jump back and do the Madden rushing and the Madden rushing defense last. So that's the order of the that I go in. You can take it for what it's worth. If you're more of a rushing team, obviously you can you can do what you want, but to me it's still a passing game. You want to get that throwing power boost. You want to get those deep route running boosts. You know, it's just a better boost for your quarterback in terms of, you know, it's the quarterback of your team, you know, so that really affects him the most. So that's why I think Madden passing is the most important. Um, we'll have another Madden 10 player coming tomorrow. I think it's going to be the free safety. And then a lot of rumors have been Calvin Johnson out there. So make sure you guys tune in tomorrow for that as well. Um, other than that, guys, that's a whole heck of a lot. Doesn't look like we're getting a Mutt Heroes promo this week. I think it's going to be next week, which will tie into exactly how I did it last year. It was the first week of October last year. So they're following suit. It's going to be the first week of October this year, next week. So make sure you're saving your coins. Not a lot of stuff to break the bank for on the market right now. But other than that, guys, the market has slowly recovered from over the weekend. If you see my coins are way back up now, I made... Guys, I'm a testimony to follow me on this channel. I made over 800k last weekend. Not to mention a Shannon Sharp fully powered up. You gotta, you gotta snipe those things when you can and sell them. Um, I've given you the methods each week. I'll be giving you the methods again tomorrow. I'll be giving you the methods on Saturday. Some of you will pick up on it. Some of you are doing great things and been letting me know that so they appreciate that. So the coins are a great way to stay ahead of the game. And I, I, not only that, I'm not open. You guys can look over here, man. Look at my packs. 75 packs. I've not opened my rewards in a long time. I have not rewarded myself. So I got a good saving plan going for all my things right now. I definitely want to make sure that uh, that, we, that I'm prepared for what the game has to offer when the players come that I really want. So other than that, guys, not a whole heck of a lot to talk about. I really appreciate all the support. I really appreciate you guys stopping by my streams on Twitch. Make sure you go down below, hit that follow on Twitch. You can subscribe now. I am Twitch affiliate, so you can't subscribe. Get that notification when I do go live. We can hang out and talk. I'll we'll probably do some streaming tonight and over the weekend, of course. So come hang out. Come be part of the Mad Men. Mad Dad really appreciates it. And also, Mad Dad is out.